That is an air stone. This is the Zis air stone, the never clog Zis air stone that Aquarian Co-op sells. But we're also going to talk about other air stones in this video and how this small piece of equipment, one of the smallest pieces of equipment you can have in your fish tank, can actually benefit your aquarium. What's up everybody? My name's Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Well Done Tanks. Today I want to get into air stones and why I actually recommend you have one of these in all of your tanks. So I am part of the, uh, the Aquarium Group Support Facebook page that is sponsored by Aquarium Co-op and oftentimes I, I tend to stay fairly quiet in that group. I don't want to cause any controversy, but one of the uh, posts I did comment on a few weeks ago, um, individual asked for help in their tank. They said that all their fish were up at the top of the tank, so the very top water level, gasping for air. And that usually means that, well, it does mean that there's not enough oxygen in your aquarium in that water for the fish to actually breathe properly. So it got me thinking and I, I posted and I commented of, I recommend adding an air stone, getting some surface agitation, agitation going to allow for some gas exchange. Now what do I mean by that? What's gonna, what is gas exchange? So as you run an air stone, pump air to it, the bubbles are going to rise to the top of the aquarium and pop. Now when that popping happens, you're actually releasing gas out of your aquarium and allowing oxygen to come back into the water. Whole scientific process that I'm not the best at explaining, but that's also why people will recommend pointing like a power head at the very top of the water to get the surface agitation going. Uh, it's very popular in the saltwater hobby side of things. You see a lot of surface agitation going because they want a large amount of gas exchange happening. But we can accomplish that with this tiny piece of equipment. And with one of these paired with the USB nano air pump, you'll never hear it. And you can actually tuck these away in your aquarium or different things. Um, but as I recommended that, and I recommended that for the purpose of that gas exchange, the surface agitation, <clears throat> an individual then replied to my comment with the comment, and this is me kind of paraphrasing, of the, ah, the myth of adding an air stone to the aquarium. And that's all this individual left. That's all he said, and it kind of like, okay, I don't know what you're getting at because it's not a myth. That's actually proven that if you add an air stone, the bubbles will come out of this when you pump air to it. Those air bubbles will rise to the surface and pop, therefore making gas exchange. So the individual then linked a bunch of articles and different things to me, uh, really stating of that it actually adds oxygen to the aquarium, right? right? So actually just putting an air stone in will beneficially add oxygen. And I, I, I left it at that and I kind of came down to a, we are agreeing on the same fact, just in a different way. But it really got me thinking, it really got me thinking of, why do we add these air stones, right? Why did everybody recommend we add an air stone? Like, what is the actual benefit of adding an air stone? So what I did is I picked up off of Amazon, and I will be leaving links down in the description below to all of this if you want to do your own testing. I picked up the uh, Salifert, the Salifert Oxygen Test Kit. What this is going to do, this will actually test the amount of oxygen in the water of, of an aquarium. So I'm going to run a simple test here, we'll probably run like put water into a five gallon bucket. Uh, fill it up, test the water, see how much oxygen is in there. We'll add an air stone, we'll test it again and see, you know, does it actually add a benefit to it? And we may run it for like an hour, two hours to see if we can, you know, continually add oxygen. Now we're, my baseline for this test is it's going to be sitting here in my fish room, you know, at that temperature. The hotter your aquarium, the lower oxygen is going to be in there and possibly the more important for gas exchange. We, I do have the aquarium behind me that's running at 84 degrees. That's because I have the L199 yellow zebra pluckers in there. They really like the heat. 
and I also have the mystery fish in there which I'm not releasing yet or telling you what that is yet but anyways but there's my test we're going to run so let's go ahead and get into that test so like I said there's a bucket of water I got this ready and let it sit in the room so this is about room temperature to what my fish room is and now we are going to use the uh, Salifert oxygen test kit um, run that through get that ready and we'll check back in so this again this is gonna be the baseline test there's no air stone in this bucket yet I want to understand you know what how much is in how much oxygen is in this water right so let's get this going and get this started all right so I ran the initial test uh, it is well oh, it's really really zoomed in hang on really easy uh, it's three vials the instructions are very easy to understand so again, so this is the initial test with no air stone in this. And um, this is kind of blown out a little bit. Um, my eye, I mean, the oxygen is very low. I'm gonna say we're between four and six. Um, I know on the camera, it looks closer up here to the eight, but I, let me try this. There, that may help it actually. Um, geez, not really. So on the camera, the solution looks a really deep red matching up in here, but I promise you it's between four and six. So we have a really low, fairly low oxygen content. Well, let me see here. Yeah, I mean, according to the Salifert instructions, this is low. There actually is a low amount of oxygen. I, I would say that's a low. So I'm curious now to do a test uh, with an air stone in the bucket and then we may even test a few aquariums in my fish room here to see how much oxygen is actually coming through with the sponge filters running so let's do the next test though of running an air stone in the bucket so i just added a simple air stone this is this never clog air stone it's on pieces of air line i just hooked it up with the usb nano air pump just for ease of use right now so now i'm going to test the water again and let's see if the oxygen content has actually gone up uh, the air stone has been running for about 10 minutes now, so I wanted to see if that made a difference. All right, so I ran the second test, and that was the test with the air stone in the five gallon bucket, and we run, run, let it run for a little bit. And I don't know, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here all day and keep testing, keep testing, but just off the, shoot, don't tip that. Just off the initial testing, um, it did go up. So it, it actually worked, right? Like adding an air stone, actually added oxygen to the water. Um, I wanna do one more test on the hottest tank in the room that's 84 degrees and it's been you know, running with a lot of air for a while now. I wanna see what that one comes out to and just it's just for fun, you know, just for fun. So let's run that test. I right, thank you for joining me on this one. I know this one's kind of that super nerd video, really getting into some testing of the water and oxygen, uh, but I did run don't, don't drop it. That final test on the uh, L199 yellow zebra tank. And there are some special fish still in that tank that I'm not showing yet. So that's why you're not seeing the tank. But I do have two sponge filters running in there that are very high rate of airflow. And the oxygen level is actually really good. Um, about it's between six and eight again for how hot that tank is. So. I recommend an air stone. I really think they're very valuable in the aquarium, um, particularly just any tank may use one, right? It's just gonna add that extra oxygen content to the water, especially if you're keeping plants and different things. It can be beneficial all around. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you like to use an air stone? What do you think of running an air stone? Is it beneficial to run an air stone? So give me your thoughts, your opinions. As always, guys, thank you so much for joining me feel free to hit the subscribe button on the way out as we will continue to do content like this. We have the fish room build coming out, so you do not want to miss that. So again, thank you everybody for joining me. We'll see you on the next one.